Hey, it's Mario here and in this quick video I decided to address the issue of rest days. So when do you take your rest days? I think this is a very important question. Obviously, it's not just about putting the work in the gym. It's also what you do outside of the gym during those off days. How many of those off days should you have? And it's going to depend on many different things. So let's create a little bit of a context. I want to approach this from multiple different angles. One being the research and the evidence behind training frequency. So how many times per week should we hit a muscle group? And also from a standpoint of building habits so what could be the most optimal way to approach this for you based on your personality type based on what works for you so according to the research I mean if you look at the recent meta-analysis done by Brad Schoenfeld James Krieger they basically analyzed how many times per week should you hit up a muscle group and it has been shown that really training at a higher frequency of hitting a muscle group two to three times a week is definitely um, showing some promising evidence of being more beneficial in terms of muscle group than hitting a muscle group just once per week. And what the study also showed, the meta-analysis also shown, is that you want to make sure to, hit, to train at least twice a week. So that would be the minimum amount of training that a person would do. And also, obviously, you want to make sure to space out the training to have some rest days between to optimize the stimulants you're getting from the workout because the stimulants last about 48 hours. And even if you kill the muscle group, it's just gonna last 48 hours. Even with more experience, it's gonna last even less. So if you crush your muscle group on Monday, by Wednesday or Thursday, your muscle is ready to grow again in terms of the muscle protein synthesis standpoint, but not in terms of the actual recovery if you've destroyed it completely as uh, most people do if they follow bro split type of workouts but it doesn't mean that the bro split type of workout isn't beneficial for muscle growth obviously you can grow muscle with that as well as with higher frequency training and this study has also shown that there's not like a black and white type of thinking where it's like okay bro splits suck higher frequency training rules obviously it's more uh, like in the gray area and I would recommend training each muscle group two to three times a week so there, there can be many different ways to set this up so let's say you can train only three times a week and this is going back to sustainability and your lifestyle and whatever your goals are let's say you train three times a week well in that setup you're gonna have four rest days and then you take those rest days at least my personal recommendation would be for you to take a rest day between the workout session so let's say you do the classic Monday Wednesday Friday then we would do four rest days and you would have weekends off I really like to have weekends off and that's kind of the way I set up my programs as well if I'm training four times a week then I'm gonna do Monday Tuesday I'm gonna take a rest day and I'm gonna then do Thursday and Friday so I typically try to avoid training three days in a row because I feel like if I trade three days in a row that third day I mean I could get used to it I could do less volume but that third day I feel like I'm quite exhausted and I'm not able to accommodate with the amount of volume that I'm doing I feel like okay that third day I'm really dragging myself to the gym and if I do that third day it will be some kind of lighter day or some kind of cardio or some kind of barbell complex day right so it's not gonna be a true workout in the gym for an hour and a half right so the way you look at this I mean we're going back a little bit from the research to the actual application to whatever suits your lifestyle is that you want to look at it from a sustainability standpoint and that's where we go into habits a little bit because I have a lot of clients and some clients let's say a personality type one responds really well to training every day right people might be beginners and they're like okay well I want to train every day because it allows them to feel like they're working toward their goal and also allows them to build the habit faster so if you're someone who's just starting out and you're looking to make this a habit like exercising a habit then obviously training every day will reinforce that habit much much better than if you train every second or every third day so from that standpoint you want to look at what works for you so the personality type one would definitely like to train every day and then there's personality number two which kind of like well I don't care you know I'm just gonna train three times a week I'm okay with that frequency I'm just gonna go in there do my work and voila problem solved and the person number one might have shorter workouts let's say you go in do 30 minutes and then the next day do another 30 minutes while the person number two might have let's say an hour per session three times a week while the person one is like six times a week and then they would do let's say 30 minutes maybe 40 minutes per session so it's just whatever fits your lifestyle so you want to look at it like this right so there's an optimal amount of volume that you want to be doing per week so it's somewhere between let's say 80 to 210 reps per muscle group per week right that's how you want to look at it so 
you want to accommodate this as obviously if you're a beginner it's going to be closer to the 80 if you're an advanced person you want to be closer to 210 and all, the, all those are guidelines of course you can go a little bit out of that even less or more i mean depending on whatever your personal response is that is something i do not know this is something that you need to test for yourself the program has to be individualized as usual we cannot generalize but that's kind of the amount of repetitions that you want to use as a starting point. Now that you've determined that, once you have that number of repetitions, well, how you're going to spread that out throughout the week depends on your lifestyle. So if somebody has a really tough lifestyle and they can only train three times a week and they really can't train the weekends or they can't train on a Thursday and a Friday, well, it's probably benefit. Let's just do all the three workouts, do the best that we can. You know, it's not as important as not doing the workout at all, right? If you're just pressed with time and you only have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I would definitely say, okay, well, let's train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But if you have the ability to spread it out, spreading it out would be more beneficial, but the amount of rest days will be the same. So that's just the way you want to look at this. You want to look at this from a standpoint of what fits your lifestyle the most, what's going to allow you to build the habit up the most. And also for an intermediate and advanced lifters, you might look into training the muscle groups more frequently, which will allow you to get more growth. I mean, there's some evidence pointing out that it might be more beneficial. So you want to look at it through that standpoint as well, because the research is pretty clear on this. And then, once you do that, that will kind of determine the amount of rest days itself. And also, I mean, this doesn't say that there's only one approach. I mean, let's say a part of the year, you train only three times a week. And then the other part of the year, let's say you train only four times a week. And then you train five times a week, some parts of the year. It doesn't really matter because you want to just make sure that you fit whatever you currently can sustain and then alternate that if necessary. So you want to be a little bit more flexible. You want to be adjustable, right? And the more adjustable you are, the more flexible you are, the more you can accommodate this to your lifestyle. And you will not only just get good results, but you're also going to enjoy the process and you're not going to feel like it's a big burden to you. When I'm traveling, a good example is I'm going to do three times a week, right? I'm not going to push myself too hard. I might do Monday, Tuesday, and another session on Thursday. I'm going to do full body workouts. Let's say if I'm in one place, if I'm in one location, I have a gym really nearby, like five minutes walking, I might pro... I mean, sometimes I just go for six days a week and I just go in there and do like 40 minutes and then the next day, 40 minutes again, I just hit the muscle groups like three times a week and I do it for about 40 minutes per session. And then I have one full rest day. And I think that one full rest day would be a good rule to have. So if you wanna train, at least have one full complete rest day per week. So that would be my general guideline there for most guys. I don't think anybody watching this video, including myself, who's making this video, or most people out there, they don't need to train seven days a week. I don't think anybody needs to train seven days a week unless you're an, like an elite gymnast or some uh, kind of sport that involves a lot of motor uh, pattern, re basically reinforcement day in, day out, and you want to practice that. But in terms of lifting weights, in terms of building muscle, losing fat, getting really uh, great, like a great physique, very lean body, strong body, you don't need to be training seven days a week. And aside from that, I mean, I want to hear from you. How many rest days are you currently doing yourself? Leave in the comments below. Share with me. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button right in the face to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.